Um, so, back to the film, where mm. do we find Draco and the Malfoy family in The Deathly Hallows Part 2? Yeah, I mean, it really kind of continues from the last one, really. The, the, the Malfoys are not in a great state, to be fair. Um, and it's really kind of, there's a divide between the... You know, Draco is the real uncertain one, I think, and the real sort of one that has the inner conflict. Although his allegiances lie with his family, and he's terrified of Voldemort, there's, there seems to be some sort of inner compulsion to want to maybe not help, but certainly not hinder. Um, and that kind of goes back and forth a bit. And it's the same with Narcissa, I think, Draco's mum. Lucius, not so much. He's kind of, he's hell-bent on, on, on doing what he has to do. But uh, it's a really interesting dynamic, and I think it's the one family that kind of gets caught bang smack in the middle of it all and don't really know quite how to react. Um, so you've won two consecutive MTV Movie Awards for Best Villain, um, but in the last two films, Draco seems a bit conflicted in his yeah. allegiances. Um, who, do you think he's solely villainous, or is it a bit more No, definitely not. I think, I think half the reason people enjoy Draco so much is that he's not just a straight-up snob and bully like he was in the first few films. He's kind of one of those complex villains who, I mean, overall, he's not a good guy, let's face it. He's, he's, he's done some pretty bad stuff over the years, but... He's not one of those born evil, uh, you know, Damien-style devil children. He's just kind of been misled. Her well, not a little bit. He's been horrifically misled by his family and, and his dad. Um, and he's really a kind of victim of terrible circumstances, I think. Um, so you're about to play um, a bit of a bad guy again in um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Is it yeah. more fun to play those kind of characters? Definitely is. And to be fair, Dodge, the character I play in that, he... he, he, he uh, he, he's a lot worse, to be fair. He, you know, he tortures animals. That's that's a whole other league of cruelty. Let's face it. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. Of course, it's great fun to play someone who's different from me. And and those two characters are definitely worlds away. And um, so this is the first time that Harry Potter will be seen in three D. And why do you think it works so well for the final film? I think this is the first year that really the three D technology has kind of been up to scratch to go to go hand in hand with the with the level levels of uh, effects that the, that the Harry Potter films have accomplished over the years. Um, and also because it's such an action-based film. I guess some of the previous ones haven't quite had the same amount of action in this. And I think, you know, when it really starts kicking off at Hogwarts, the 3D aspect comes into a world of its own. Um, so you have another face-off with your nemesis Harry Potter in mm. the film. Um, how much fun was that scene to shoot? And was there any method acting or do you get on well with Daniel Radcliffe? Oh no, it's method. <laughs> we hate each other. We won't even talk to each other off set, it's a real... No, I'm kidding. Uh, we get on very well, yeah, of course. And it was it was good fun, yeah. It was nice to have one final showdown with him. Um, although although Harry comes off top. Um, but he still, he, he, he lends a hand to me, which is very nice. He's a very compassionate guy, young Harry. So he seems to help help Draco out even in his in his moment of turmoil, so that's good. Um, so we get to see a, a bit of a glimpse of Draco 19 years on. Um, yes. What did you make of how he turns out? Yeah, you know what? I haven't actually seen that bit on the... Uh, I was only there on the day, obviously. I haven't seen it on film yet, so I'm quite intrigued. I thought I looked pretty bloody old, but I think it's kind of sending a message out to kids that crime doesn't pay, you know? Like, you're going to get older quicker if you if you take part in this sort of stuff. So um, it was a lot of fun, and I was very, very honoured and grateful to be included, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Not at all. It was lovely to meet you. Thanks for your questions.